have to do is follow me. Got your hard hat on? Good. Down here. All of the caves are man-made. And they're cut into the stone, which dates back some 100 million years. This is the latest, or the last use of the caves as an air raid shelter during the Second World War. There's lots of tours on today, as you can see. And we go down into the older caves down here. I show you why it was so good for tunneling. Look, soft. You can almost do it with your fingers. So it didn't take very much to cut out the caves. Down here, very, very old wells. One there and another one here, which are from the 13th or even 12th century. That's the water table as it is now. It was a lot lower in those days, and they drop a bucket down there in order to get their fresh water. They also dropped other things down here, which I'll tell you about in a second. That's the cellar of a house. Now, the cellars were used, they were dug down from the little houses above, slums really. They were used because it was a constant temperature down here, so it was like having your own fridge. I said that they used it for other things, well that's one of them. A toilet. 1700s. And it just dropped down into the hole there. The problem with that is that it actually managed to seep through into the wells with the drinking water. Now this is the cellars of a pub, the Three Horseshoes pub. They keep the beer in here. They also had illegal meetings in here where people would gather and discuss matters of state. And the, you see this tiny little hole up here? That goes right away to the cliff top and there'd be a little boy up there and if he saw the soldiers coming he would drop a pebble down there. Everyone in here would scarper and get out fast. Into the tannery, which is here. This is called uh, the Pillar Cave, for obvious reasons. The only underground tannery in the whole of the country. That actually would have opened out. And those holes down there had big oak casts in them, which had lime and water in them, which was the first stage for treating the leather. This is sort of 1400s, the date. You've seen him. It's all right. He won't get you. These little ponds had all sorts of different mixtures in them. One of the mixtures was dog poo, bird poo, and wee. And that actually gave the leather a certain texture. It helped the hairs drop out of the leather as well. And it would finally go into that pit. And it would stay there for 15 months before they brought it out and dried it out. And then they gave it to a courier who took it on to sell to other people which is perhaps where courier comes from. Now this bit, this is important, because when they were digging these caves out, this is where they saw the brown monk, or at least, what's the matter? The ghost of the brown monk. Found your way out of the caves then, and not too much trouble from the brown monk, presumably? Jolly good. This was the entrance to Nottingham, or Snottingham, as it was known, for the Saxons. And this area was referred to as Weekday Cross. It's where they had their marketplace. They would sell the chickens and wild stock here. It was actually the Normans who decided it was too small and moved it off to what is the marketplace now. The cross is still here, although the rest of the buildings, of course, have gone. It was also the area which was used for hangings. Hundreds of people would turn out for the hangings here. In fact, so many for the more notorious cases that quite often members of the audience would be killed in the crush. Some of the people that were due to be hung got away when they were being transported here, so the court said we're going to do it at our place, and that's where I'm taking you now. Welcome to Condemned at the Galleries of Justice in the Shire Hall. It's a guided tour now, but it actually really used to be a courtroom, and it is beautifully preserved exactly as it was. Originally built in the uh, early 1800s, it stopped being a court in 1987, and that is George Beck, who was uh, one of the unfortunate lads arrested after the riots when the Reform Bill was thrown out by the House of Lords. And him and hundreds of others burnt down the castle. 
here in Nottingham. He was complaining because the, he wanted the children who were working in the mills as young as two years old to have better treatment. And because of his good work, he got a rope around his neck. Yep, and he was hanged with two of his mates on the steps of this very building. Now, if you were found guilty, you were taken down here to the cells. And these are quite remarkable, exactly as they were. Into the bloody code, which is through here. There's all sorts of instruments of torture, including this is quite interesting. This is a, a ducking stool hat. Through here, this is where you would be received into the prison. You've already been condemned, down here, received by the warden, into the prison. Through here, and you would be stripped of everything. And then thrown in a bath to make sure you were clean. Your hair would be chopped off, and then you'd be given cl prison clothes and sent down to the cells. And these cells are genuine 17th century cells. These are some people who've been condemned. And this, untouched, that's the warden, be nice to him, untouched, an overnight cell. That's all you got, your hammock. Pass the water down here. Some more steps as we go deeper and deeper into the, the bowels of the courtroom and into the transportation area. It's a bit noisy with the tour down here. There would have been a chute down here and they would put the people on the chute and literally just throw them down into boats at the bottom where they'd be transported off to the sea and then deported to other countries. In here gives you an idea of what some of the boats were like and some of the things that they had to do whilst they were on the boats. If you weren't lucky enough to be deported, you might be unlucky enough to come to these, the gallows. That's exactly as they were. That's three witches being hung and that is the trapdoor. And unless you're very careful, matey, down here into the jail warder's room. This was their accommodation, excuse me. Leg irons. It's pretty serious stuff. You weren't going to get out of that. And if you've heard the expression, the pits, before, this is where it comes from. Down there is the pit, and that's where you'd be held before you were transported. And to say it was basic would be an understatement.